In this video, I will go over color matching and replacement using Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud. I'm using GTX Driver version 2.5. In the previous video, I went over basic artwork setup and editing to print to the Brother GT Garment Printer. In this video, we're going to go a step further. I will cover how to print a small sample test file, color matching, and color replacement. I'm going to go ahead and open up a previous file we used in the last video. So I'm going to go to File, Open. I'll open Rosie that I had saved on my desktop from a previous video. Click Open. And here's my file. To minimize waste for test prints, I like to create what is called a knockout layer. In my other video, for basic artwork setup, I mentioned that RGB 255 white is ignored by the GT Garment Printer. Well, we're going to use that same 255 white to create our knockout layer. First, we are going to need to create a new layer. We can go to our Layers palette and click on the small paper icon in the bottom right hand corner. Double click on the lettering and I'm going to call this Knockout. Hit Enter. Next, I'm going to go to the Marquee tool. If I click and hold down the mouse button, I'm going to choose Rectangle Marquee Tool. I'm going to make sure my feather is set to zero pixels. So I'm going to draw a small box around the area I want to print. So I'm going to start up here in the top left corner, click and hold. And I'm going to see if I can capture all the way down to her blue jumper. I get a little bit of her knuckles. Let me bring it in a little bit. Right about there. In the previous video, I mentioned about the marching ants. This is the area that I have selected. Now what I want to do is inverse my selection. The easiest way to do this is go to Select inverse. So now the selection is inversed. I have marching ants on the outside and on the inside. Now we need to fill this with 255 white. To do this we go to edit, fill, contents, white. Click OK. And now we can deselect our selection. So go to Select, Deselect. Now we have a small section of our image masked out. And because we did this on a separate layer, this is non destructive. I can easily go over to my Layers palette, click on the eyeball, and this will hide this layer, which means it will not print. But let's do a test print to our GT printer. So we're going to go to File, Print. And for me, I'm going to do a file output just so I can see it on screen. Go to Print Settings. I will set my platen size to 14 by 16. I'll be printing with Color Plus White ink for my test. I'm going to set my highlight to 6 and my mask to 2. I am basing my settings on the garment that I am currently printing on. I will click and move the artwork up to the top corner of my artboard to give me room to print more test files beside it later. Click Print. In the previous video, I changed her eyes to 254 so the printer will recognize this as a printable white. I am going to save my file and send it to the printer. So I am going to save the file to my desktop. I will call this one Rosie Test and click Save. In my test print, my blue jumper is a little bit too dark for my liking. So what I'm going to do is actually go to my GT color chart and I'm going to try and find a blue that's more pleasing to me. It is always a good idea to print out your GT color charts to reference when color matching. 
When color matching, many times I'll take my color and compare it to my GT color chart to find the closest RGB value. So I'll hold up my test print to my color chart, and I think I'll choose this particular blue. So now what I'm going to do is go back to Photoshop, hide my knockout layer. I'm going to highlight my artwork layer, get my magic wand tool. If you do not see your magic wand tool, click and hold, and the flyout menu will appear, and click on magic wand. Just to start, I'm going to set my tolerance for 15. Turn on anti-alias, because this is going to be on the inside of my image. And you also notice I had contiguous unchecked. This way I captured all the blue within my image. Next, I want to create a new layer. I prefer to work in a non-destructive fashion. This means I can always go back and revert easily just by removing that layer. So we're going to go back to our layers palette. New layer. Double click on the text. I will call this altered blue. Hit enter. And now with alter blue layer highlighted, this is my active layer. So now I want to fill this selection with the blue that I chose for my color chart. So I'm going to go to edit, fill, for my contents, I'm going to choose color. And the color for my color chart was 0, 76, 167. Click OK. OK again. Now I can go to Select, Deselect. If I go back over to my layers palette, I can actually turn off this layer so you can see a difference. Always keep in mind what you see on screen is not always what's going to print. This is why we print out our GT color samples chart and also why we like to do small test prints. All right, so let's print our shirt. Go File, Print. I use the same settings I did before. What is really nice about our driver is if you hover over the different options and read below it, it gives you a description of what it actually does. For example, with a check mark beside the option Use Background Black Color, it means it is going to ignore the RGB value 000. So click OK, click Print. So here is my final file. Click Save. I will call this file Rosie Final. Click Save. Now let's say that our blacks weren't a solid RGB black. It is the same process as when I changed the blue jumper. So I would go back to my artwork layer, get my magic wand tool, click on the black area. I'll create a new layer. I'll call this one solid black. I'll go to edit, fill. I will choose black for my contents. Click OK. Now I need to select, deselect. So go back to my layers palette and do the before and after. Now I'm ready to print. If you need additional support, please fill out our web form at brotherdtg.com forward slash help for further assistance.